In this video, I will give the demo of the joints of typical ribs. So this is a typical rib and suppose this is the fourth typical rib. So first of all, there is two vertebra. Suppose this is thoracic four vertebra and this is thoracic three vertebra. And now come to the rib. The anterior end of the rib, which has a cup shaped depression, it articulates with the costal cartilage of its own and form costochondral joint. Costochondral joint, and this is the primary cartilaginous joint. So, there is a joint called costochondral joint, which is the primary cartilaginous joint. And in the posterior side, in the head area, there is two facets one is large lower facet and another is small uh, upper facet so we can say the lower large facet articulates with the upper facet of its corresponding vertebra like this is rib number four and this is thoracic four vertebra so they are corresponding so the larger inferior facet of the rib articulates with the superior costal facet of its corresponding vertebra and form a vertebral costal joint or costovertebral joint which is a plain type of synovial joint and also and also the smaller superior facet of the rib articulates with the lower costal facet of the vertebra above it means if it is the fourth rib this and this is the uh, thoracic three vertebra so this facet will articulate with the lower facet of t3 or thoracic three vertebra like this i think like this okay and form a costovertebral joint which is also a plain type of synovial joint and also there is a articular part of the tubercle which articulates with the transverse process with the anterior surface of the transverse process and form and from a costo transverse joint which is a plain type of synovial joint so there is a joint named costo transverse joint which is a plain type of synovial joint so that are all about the joints.